All right, peace world, what's good? Swag King, uh, once again, here at the Black Dot Underground Africa Town Media Network for another episode. And today, um, we have a, a, a great guest, um, a rising uh, woman, entrepreneur, um, community uh, builder, um, and just really continuing a family legacy of um, entrepreneurship, ownership in the Central District, um, Apollonia Washington, a.k.a. Apple. Hi. The owner of <laughs> A is for Apple Daycare, among your many other things that you that you, you do. Yes. Welcome. Hi. Thank you for joining us today. Looking but forward. one correction. We're A for Apple Home Daycare. What did I say? A is. Oh, all right, all right, all right. You see, that's the teacher part coming out yes, already. You it know, is. correcting us. Get us together. Yes, all right, all right. Gotta all right. get all right. it right. Yes, yes. So, um, you are a Garfield grad. I am. You know, representing Bulldogs. Right, there we go. Purple and white greatness, community pride. Yes. Um, and uh so tell us a little bit about your your journey to this point. Um my mom birthed a for Apple Home Daycare 25 years ago. She was a single mother with, um, my, it was myself and my two younger brothers, uh, DeAndre and Valentino Coleman. Um, she always had everyone's children. And one day I remember her sitting on the toilet, sorry mom, <laughs> but sitting on the toilet and saying, A for Apple Home Daycare. And we're all like, huh? And she's like, that's going to be my daycare name. Next thing you know, A for Apple was born. Um, for me, I joined the business nine years ago as being part owner. And it's been a blessing ever since. Mm -hmm. And so did, was that your first uh, time getting bit by the entrepreneurial bug? Or was that something that was, you know, always in your spirit? Like... It was, okay. um, but see, my mom, my auntie, and my uncle, they're all entrepreneurs, so for me, it gave me motivation to mm. always just, hey, Apple, let's work for yourself. You mm. don't need to work for nobody else. You can do this, and my grandparents was always a big inspiration as well. Mm. Mm. Yes, yes, so... Um, continuing the legacy. Continuing you know, the legacy, yes. That's really what it's all about. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of time We see a lot, you know, unfortunately in the Central District, we've seen a lot of kind of not going forward. You know, you grew up in the CD. What are, you know, what are some of the, um, um, what are your thoughts on, you know, how things are, are changing? I actually like how the CD is now. Um, for me, raising children in the Central District, I feel more safer. Yeah less crimes, I should say. Um, it looks more modern as well. Me and my brothers, we always joke, uh, there was a game we used to play called Sim City. And we always say, ooh, the city's starting to look like Sim City now. We're just waiting for the flying cars. So I, I actually like it um, to live in. And, um, yeah, I remember SimCity. I used to play that game you know, a lot. That was one of my favorite games on the Mine computer. Mine, too. In the game. Design Elementary. Your city, bring your little disasters in there, yes. the Godzilla and everything. Yes. Yeah, so um, you said, so you're, you're, you're liking the changes. And how I about like the, the sense change. of, you know, um, I mean, so much loss of, like, the black population in the community, you know? Um, how is that, you know, impacted? or? Of course, that's missed. Um but I have my family, they all still own their homes in the Central, where we're able to get together for family gatherings, barbecues, invite our friends to, so they can see the blackness. Um, with my children, there's still sports um, here in the Central District that's holding on, like CD Panthers. We have SCLL Central. Is it still going? Is it baseball? Baseball, yes. Yeah, baseball, yeah, yeah. Seattle, Seattle, <laughs> Seattle Little League. Central Seattle Little League. Little League. Yeah. Yes, yeah, that's still them, holding yeah. on. Um, so my children get to see that diversity. It's a lot different than when I when I played. It baseball, is, though. it I, is I, I because you would always year. see 
the blacks, you know, but we're still seeing a lot of our black people there, you know. Yeah. I got back to coaching this year, and I, you know, my son, he's eight, and Man, I had to go out and recruit to to get the team to you know <laughs> to get it get it right. But you know that, that those are some those are good points you're making. Like these are the places of community now, and, mm-hmm. and your business businesses like yours are not just you know businesses. They are like communities um, in themselves, right? Yes. You know, in terms of just uh, extended families, all of the families, mm-hmm. and that's important. Um, you guys had a big entry in a Moja Fest parade this year. That was really um, good to see. What um, tell us about that and, and why, like, you know, what made you do that? Well, actually, A for Apples celebrated our 25 years of service, serving the community um, this past July. And I was like, Mom, you know what? We should reach out to all of our alumni and our current families. Let's see who's down to participate, get some T-shirts, and let's just show the community, hey, A for Apples has been thriving here off of 20th and I for 25 years, and we're very diverse, always have. We serve um, families that are low income, middle class, and per se high class. Yeah. Um, so what was that experience like with, you know, the, in the parade you brought, you know, like all the family? Was that like the alumni? It was networks? the alumni and the current families. So for our current families, um, that's where we're getting a lot of more Caucasian families with our current family since the demographics have changed in the central, um, they got to see, Hey, we have a diverse, um, network, uh, for our childcare and we serve all type of families. Some, uh, may have disabilities or whatnot, but at a for apple does this and for our current families, they gave feedback and said, wow, you guys are just awesome. I love it. And for us, that just motivated us to want to just keep separating a for apple from the our competitors. Well, there's no, when you're doing your thing, you really don't have any competition. <laughs> well, they say right? our competitors, <laughs> but I say we yeah. don't. <laughs> so that's something that'll be annual. I know this was a big, you know, 25 years. Congratulations yes, on that. Thank you. That's a big thing. Is that going to be something that it is something we want to participate in annually? Um, we and got again other- we got good feedback from our parents the kiddos enjoyed it because for many of our children who are maybe caucasian we may be the only african americans they see wow. realistically but they got to see our culture for a day a dose of melanin that day. right <laughs> okay and so yeah. we're like yes you yeah, know and right. the parents enjoyed that yeah and uh you know, as you mentioned, competitors, hopefully the other, you know, <laughs> other daycares and organizations and youth groups will see that and want to, you know, make sure their representation yeah. is seen. And again, it just adds to the whole community mm-hmm. uh, uh, aspect of the event. Um, so, you know, our, the work of Africatown is really about like preserving and developing and making sure that, you know, the legacies of people like your grandparents and your family, you know, continues in the Central District. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, what are your thoughts on, you know, our efforts to, uh, you know, develop space where black entrepreneurs can continue to thrive, people can live, and we can still have, you know, this sense of community? I think it's really great that you guys are bringing more African Americans back and giving them the opportunity. Um, they might not have the resources or tools to get their businesses started, and you guys are putting that out there uh, to get them started. I think it's awesome. And, you know, small businesses in general, and mm-hmm. particularly, you know, black entrepreneurs even more so, you know, face obstacles in, like you said, starting up, you know, businesses. What And not even just starting, but even sustaining, because we've seen, you know, businesses as things Flop. change, yeah. you know, the rents are going up, you mm-hmm. know, they're, they're pushed out. Um, what are some of the challenges um, that, that you have ex- uh, uh, faced and obviously overcome to be here for, for 25 years? Being able to have certain amount of slots for low-income families because the demographics are changing. We're a tier two now. And for those that don't know what that is. Tier two, we're like real expensive. We're supposed to be the richest area over here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like part of the city. A part of the city. Okay. Uh-huh. Like right here in Junkins Park area. 
we have certain amount of slots for um, DSHS families, middle class is um, this, what is it? SPP, Seattle Preschool Program, or the city subsidy. And then we have X amount of slots for families who may be paying out of pocket. We want to be able to serve all families. So keeping that balance and have, telling families, no, we can't take you, mm. is kind of hard. But we have to find that balance because we have to be able to live in this area as well. So sounds like waiting list may be in effect, right? Or two years, is it, is it, is it, two year, year waiting, waiting list. list, two year waiting list by wow. word so of mouth. So that sounds like some expansion should be on the horizon, huh? Yes, it's a possibility. Okay. Yes, okay. Okay. that's what yes. we like to, you know, see growing and thriving in place. You know, yes. um, definitely as things change. Um, so, you know, you're in a very important space. You know, obviously, mm -hmm. you know, education is like the foundation for all like development, whether it's personal, family, mm -hmm. you know, communities, societies. Yes. Um, but we see black you know, children still showing up on the bottom of a lot of the statistics. Are there certain things that um, you have found to be more effective um, as far as uh, bringing the brilliance and the greatness out of um, um, black children? Yes, I say parent accountability plays a big role in a child's development. I work with birth to five years, so that age is real crucial to me. I tell my families, the parents, I sit down with them, hey, I'm your family away from home. What, I wanna know what's going on, because your child's with me 10 hours out of the day. Wow. They're with me more than you. I'm, mm. I'm raising them right along with you. How can we help you be successful so you can raise your child, so your child doesn't have to deal with home traumas? Mm. It can be breakups in the home, abuse. What, how can we support you so your child is smooth selling when they're at school? And what do you know? They sometimes make it seem, you know, in the schools, I, I feel like the, you know, they, they try to uh, put a lot on the, on the child, like almost like the children are just defective in a sense. You know, what have you found, you know, also, you know, successful in, 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 in working with? you know, our children, where others maybe have not been as successful? Talk with them. I have families um, where the mom or the father may be too busy to talk to the child. Talk to them. Don't just pluck them up with the binky or just give them that iPad or your the cell phone. Talk to them. See what's going on in their head. See, see how their day was. You have to do that. I My accountability for parents is very high mm. you have to do that and um so you're in the legacy of your own family but many entrepreneurs I in, am. The, in the in the in the city mm -hmm. uh, is there anyone else that you were inspired by um business owners entrepreneurs growing up in the central district mine's has always been my mom single mom my Ba my baby brother Valentino, he's a college football coach. My other brother, uh, DeAndre, he was in the NFL. She raised us by herself. She m made sure she showed her face in the classrooms. She never cried. She went without to make sure we had the best schooling. It was hard. I and I shared this story with many people. I went one school year with three pair of jeans, not complaining, because I wanted my mom to make sure my brothers had those resources for um, schooling to get that extra tutoring from ATEC or TAF. Um, just that parent accountability, you know? So mom, I, I, I appreciate my mom, Deborah Coleman. <laughs> Shout out, you know what I mean? Yes, that's, that's, love that's you, that's Mom. Valuable. And it's, you, I'm, I'm sure she's proud yes. of, you know, her daughter growing up All and us. taking things to the next to the yeah. next level. Um, all right, so when we talk about some of the, the changes, you know, that are happening in the city, we mm -hmm. see a lot of growth and opportunities, um, a lot of economic, you know, things are upgrading, right? Yes. Um, but we haven't seen our community participate in that equally right mm -hmm. um 
and recent stats, you know, came out and was showed that, you know, the average black family income was like 47,000 yes. compared to 105,000 for white. So less than half. Um, what are your thoughts on, you know, how, you know, maybe the causes and how we can uh, uh, advance our position? You have to have a strong support system. Again, them home traumas, if we can get those down, families talk to each other, have some good, um, have a good support system. So I, I, oh, I, I think what you're saying is <laughs> healing is important. Yes, healing is right? definitely think, important. And being able to and, talk yeah. to people, it's very important. Just having that resource to be able to talk to people and to go places. And um, if you're not going to go to college, take up a trade. Go or go be an entrepreneur. Go study under somebody. I've seen a lot of our people take um, not swallow that pride and uh, go sit under somebody. So it's just, it's okay. Take that sacrifice. Yeah. Stay down to come up. Yeah, because I say college isn't for everyone. It's, Especially now. With it's the, not. With the, with go the get you a trade. Go be an entrepreneur. There's so many resources out here for us to get funding, but we don't know. Mm -hmm. You know. So so awareness of resources, mm -hmm. I think, is a, is a big thing. Network. We were talking about that earlier. We were yes. talking about Liberty Bank building and want to make sure our families are not just having you know bricks and mortar mm -hmm. for themselves, but also access to the resources um, to elevate in their own yes. lives, right? So like for me, I hold um, a, cur a curriculum night with my families. And I might, since I'm a part of the Seattle preschool program, I'll have somebody come educate them on the importance of preschool what and what families should be doing at home. Um, we're the first family child care to be partners with the Seattle Public Library, bringing in Raising a Reader bags, where it was only offered for center base. But I went and networked, and I brought it into our child care and literacy. I'm big on, real big on literacy. So I have somebody from the library come talk about the importance of reading with your child. Um all those resources for families, I try to give those to help. And I feel like all um, all places should offer that as well. Definitely. Especially if you're giving services. So now we like to get into some where you can give up some, what we, we call this dropping gems, right? Oh. Like giving up some, some real <laughs> nuggets um, that can benefit people. Um, for let's let's talk about parents, right, mm -hmm. and and children. You know, what are three tips that you would give to parents to bring the brilliance out of their um, their children, their babies? Communicate, talk with them. Don't be don't be afraid to talk about if you notice if they have any kind of um, developmental delays. It's okay. Not everyone's perfect. Get those resources and act early. And just communication is everything within a family. That's my biggest thing. I've always been raised on that, being able to have that open communication and the talk. Okay. Um, what are three books that have um, put light on your path or profounded, profoundly uh, affected the way you move in the world? Three books. Ooh, I can't give it to you right off, but I have it written down. <laughs> but I do have them written down. That's crazy. I can't give it to you right off. Okay. Um, uh, in real time, any uh, current, you know, inspirations, models that you see, you know, whose path that, that you like how they're moving in the world now and inspire and motivate you? No, I just... I get out here and network. Honestly, you have to network, follow, find your own path. I don't want to be like anyone else. I want to be like Apple and keep separating Apple okay. and A for Apple from everybody else's FCC, which is family child care. Got you. I want to make sure that two-year waiting list stays long and long. <laughs> 
We hear that. So we yes. we see a, a, a some campuses in the future, right? Yes. From home daycare to yes. you know center base. There we yes. go. There we go. Um, so was the apple for you? My mom said no, but I'm like, mom, it's okay. <laughs> I'm your only girl. <laughs> Right. Um, any good podcasts, blogs, YouTube channels that that you follow to kind of keep you on I your follow toes? Africa Town all the time. I think it's great that you guys bring different um, people on. It can be rappers, it can be um, influencers, it it can be anybody. I like it. It's cool, and I've actually been writing them down and able to re- network with them. Oh, so shout, I think shout that's out, cool. Shout out to the Africa Town Media yeah, team. I think it's good. Uh, big O behind the scenes, calligraphy, you know, making this yeah. platform uh, happen for our community. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, any other, any other, you know, just thoughts to the to the community about the future? What do you envision for the, you know, for the future of of the black folks in in the Central District in Seattle? What I'm do you hope glad for? that there's going to be more of us back over here. No matter what your income is, you're going to be back over here. I mean, I've been heard so many cry about it but why are you crying about it what are you doing about it and here you guys are you're helping everybody come back so take advantage it's a new time you know get you some ownership in the central if you can um uh, there's plenty of resources where you can get your credit together you can reach out to me my family will guide you help guide you to be entrepreneurs or Whatever you may need. That's huge. Yeah. You know, to be able to, you know, not just be about your own success, but willing to extend yeah. and share with others so that they can come up. That is, that is, that is well, big. Yeah. And so we know the, the center and the campus is coming for <laughs> A for Apple in the future. <laughs> Any other uh, entrepreneurial uh, pursuits uh, for yourself? Um, I'm making some money okay. elsewhere. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I don't yeah. really hey, say, hey, but hey, I'm making money. Bag, it's you know? legally. Okay. Hey, it's legal. There I'm just go. securing <laughs> everything for my children, making go. sure they're good. There that's go. how I was raised, and that's what it's about. Well, thank you for joining us. <laughs> it's been welcome. good. Um, another episode for y'all, and you know how we do about this time. We got to give you the message to tap in. Don't tap out. Peace.